Hi, I'm Tarney, and welcome to Galactic Civilizations 3. I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom race, including images and icons and all that cool stuff. So first, let me show you where to put the images. They need to go in your game folder, which is in Documents, and you go to My Games, and get your Galactic Civilization 3 folder. Then in your Factions, uh, you will find most of the places you're going to use is the portraits, logos, and leader front grounds, foregrounds. And you can see I already got some images in here that we're going to use to create it. And But first, okay, in your leader foregrounds, those images need to be 1920 by 1080. That'll be the big image. We'll show you that. Uh, your logos here, uh, your lo uh, they need to be 128 by 128 and uh, with a transparent background. All the images in all these folders need to be in a ping format. And in your portraits, these will be the uh, your leader images uh, themselves. They uh, need to also be 128 by 128. And in a ping format, they don't have to be in a transparent background, though. Um, they recommend that it is, um, but they don't have to be. The leader foregrounds need to be 1920 by 1080 and they do not they need to be a ping image also and they do not need the transparent background so we've got our images in here already and already sized and, and all that stuff so we'll get out of here and get back into uh, galactic civilizations and show you how to create a new race so we'll go to a new game and I've already created a couple races but we'll just uh, start with a new one here we're gonna take him and we'll copy it which makes the new race now here in the first section with your leader we're going to change this image this is that leader foreground image and so we'll just choose picture here and you can see down here there's all the choices you have but you can see I've already added one in here I'm doing an Iron Maiden theme on this one so you're going to see a lot of Iron Maiden stuff on here so we'll select that there's my my main image, nice picture of Eddie right there. Then, uh, okay, our leader portrait, we'll edit him. Okay, and you can see I've already got a couple down here that I've chosen for Iron Maiden. We're going to go with uh, this Eddie, version of Eddie again. And uh, so now, here you can name them. So we'll just go ahead and make our leader name Eddie. And uh, we won't, you can put in whatever simple, dis you know, whatever description you want uh, about your leader. And but we'll just leave that blank for now. Uh, your race overview. Here you get to name them. So we're going to name our race Iron Maiden. Yeah, I'm an Iron Maiden nut. And the short name will be, let's go the Maidens. And you can change your call sign. So these are the TAS if you want SS or USS or anything like that. Uh, home world name. Uh, we'll do Iron Maiden. Okay, and if you want to put in a description or anything like that. Uh, your race logo. You know, these, uh, like I said, they have to be 128 by 128. You can see I've made a few here already. We've got the Thundercats logo, the Mortal Kombat logo, and here's my Iron Maiden one. We'll add that in. And remember, 128 by 128, and they need the uh, transparent background. Oh, you know what? Let's change the uh, Homeworld name. Uh, let's see. Think of a uh, good song from Maiden. Uh, we'll call it Icarus. And in our star system, uh, let's see. You, now here in your star system, you get to choose what kind, you know, based on the other races that already exist. But it tells you, like, you know, contains a beautiful class 12 world with a bonus to tourism and approval. So you can choose which, you know, a ruined star system, no habitable planet, just a burned out rock used by the brave and adventuresome so you could just choose you can it'll start with different planets uh, this one just starts with a class 16 uh, you know this one contains also a class 16 this one's got a 13 and a 3 8 and a 4 you know so you could choose which kind of system and which worlds you wanna you wanna start with and uh, 
to go from there. I like to start with the two planets because I like to make my secondary planet just a research planet right off the get-go to begin with. And um, so we'll go ahead and start. We'll stay with the soul on here. It starts with a class 11 and a class 5. Uh, we'll stick with that. And, uh, okay, traits and abilities. Here's where you get to design your advantages and disadvantages with your race. And we've decided to make Iron Maiden a militant race. And uh, so here, let's see, ancient, see all of these different uh, available uh, special abilities have different, uh, uh, you know, advantages and disadvantages to them. So we're going to go, yeah, we'll go unrelenting. And let's see, unrelenting, prolific. They're not paranoid. Uh, entrepreneur, aesthetic, intuitive, knowledgeable, wealthy. Yeah, we don't need any of this stuff. Uh, we'll go patriotic. Get rid of engineers. All right, so you'll see here, it starts with the basic points that were already listed. I think we took the Terran race. And you can see each thing has, like, okay, here, productive. If we chose this one, uh, we get you know plus 25 percent to manufacturing it's already on this setting at, at plus 15 percent but you can go negative now when you go negative you get points for that like if we went negative 25 percent manufacturing look we got bonus points so there uh, since we're making a militant race we're gonna definitely go with the, the military uh, popular let's see okay we're not gonna trade with people See, now if you do that, we got more points that we can choose in other things now. We'll go ahead and turn everything off. And uh, we're going to turn off that production for now. Let's see. Brutal. Soldiering. We'll, get, we'll be a little brutal. Yeah, we'll, get some, we'll be tough. Uh, we got a couple more points left. Pipe, dance, handy. Economical resilient sounds good. Yeah, we'll go a little. Res we'll be a little resilient. We don't care about being likable. Uh, let's see. Being fast is good. So we're just gonna, you know, not normally a race I would normally do, but we're just gonna be generic on this just for showing you everything. Now, in the appearance, here you can change your interface theme. You know, to a color scheme that you like. We'll just go with a Conian. Uh, let's see. We'll go with the Drangan map scheme. Ship style, you can choose whatever you'd like. There's different ship styles you could use, which also changes the names of the ships and the styles. And all that. Uh, ooh, let's see. What looks a little aggressive here? We'll go with the, yeah, the iridiums. Uh, we'll change our color scheme. Go with the Drangan. Uh, that's kind of ugly. The green. That's not too bad. Okay. Then your your behaviors. Uh, let's see. The uh, benevolent, pragmatic, and malevolent, uh, malevolent uh, is a different tree that you can use within the game. I'm sure if you've played, you already know all this. But we're going to go with malevolent with them. Uh, we're going to be aggressive, cruel, expansionist. We don't care about diplomacy. We're going to be opt uh, op <laughs> I can't say that word today. Opportunistic. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Xenophobic. Okay. Now here you can adjust. So this is for if a computer plays this race on how they're going to be. So, since we're making a militaristic race, we're going to go military number one. They're going to even be defensive a little bit. Uh, we do care. We don't care about diplomacy because they just plan on killing everybody. Uh, tech, yeah, you need your tech, your wealth, influence. That's a pretty good order of things, I think, that they're, they're going to be. Um, oh, let's choose our tech tree up here. You can choose whose tech tree you want. I haven't noticed yet, but then I haven't looked very hard at uh, the differences in each race's uh, tech tree. Uh, 
too many ability points spent, huh? Uh, zero. Oh, we gotta take one of these off. Well, we're gonna take colonizers off. Okay. So yeah, this is if they uh, the computer uses uh, uses this race to play. This is how they will play. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what you put here. If you you plan on being the only one playing this race, it doesn't really matter. But if you want to go up against them, uh, this is you know the kind of AI they're they're going to be. So we've got everything done here. We've got the appearance, the personality. Uh, we got the their traits. Uh, we got the race. You can fill in all this stuff if you want. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So then we'll save this race. And boom, and there they are. I've got one just like it that I made a little different. And uh, if you don't like it afterwards, I wish there was an edit race. Uh, but you can delete it. So what you can do instead of editing it is you just copy it. It's got the same thing. And then you can save it again, and then you can just delete the old one if you want to make changes. Though it would be easier if there was just an edit race, uh, but you know they did. They do give you the option for that. You can see a few other races I've created, and uh, so. But that's how you make a custom race and add in your own personal icons when you're on the map. You know, this is the image that's on. You know, that's on the planets and stuff like that. Uh, the the leader image is the image that when you know talking with other races that's the image that will come up that you see so hopefully this helped uh, enjoy your game and uh, have fun designing your own races we'll talk to you later bye